Um, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video by myself, Alice. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys <clears throat> my first ever creative map. And this creative map isn't just any creative map, it's actually a new box fight map as well. And because a lot of people are doing box fights recently, I thought why not join in the trend, make a box fight map. But obviously, I just don't want to make it like everyone else, do I? Because you want to make sure yours is the best, has something unique about it. So I've made the best box fight map and it's pretty much just something that counters every single glitch inside of creative right now. Like the ones where you don't even spawn in the spawn pads, you spawn in the air. Now what you can do instead on this map is you've got rifts where you can get right inside the box again and it's like nothing happens. It doesn't even matter where you spawn outside. But anyway, I'm not going to give too much away yet. Let's just get right into the video. If you guys do want to enjoy it, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. And also turn those post notifications on so you get to see videos like this before your opponents for that competitive advantage. Uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys do go on to enjoy. Okay, so what I've done now, I've just switched up the camera angle, you know, get a few angles on the video. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop in right and creative. And this video is all going to be useful, so make sure you just go watch the whole thing. My dog's barking in the background, might have to go knock her out. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you this this video basically. What's so unique about this map, the best things about it, and maybe some glitches as well that you might experience. And if you guys do go, in, go into um, experience any glitches, by the way, uh, with this map, just tell me about it in the comments below, and I'm going to try and investigate the glitches because creative, creative right now is shaky. It's really shaky. So first of all, just moving into the map, um, let's see what we got here. So we got my box fight map code, and you guys can pause the screen right now because the code is nine eight eight four eight seven eight four nine nine four three. You guys can screenshot this right now, and it's just very easy to have it uh, loaded on. You can put it on your notes on your phone, so you can just see it wherever. And once you got it into your creative map, it's gonna stay there unless you press remove. So it's a fallacies 1v1 to 4v4 box fights, anything like that, it works whatever. And the best thing about this map that I think is a lot of box fight maps just look very plain. They look plain, you can't really get clips on them with them looking good and have it in a thumbnail or anything like that. With this one, you're actually able to have it in a thumbnail, I think. I think it looks pretty cool. So we're just going to load in here. And a few features I'm going to take you through is when I start the game here, I'll show you some features. Okay, so when you spawn in, you can see it's just a black box, so everything stands out. Your building stands out when you edit, all that stuff. When you edit, um, it just turns white and it looks nice. It's nice with thumbnails. And obviously, you've got the lines at the bottom and the corners at the top to see the dimensions of the box, because without them, you wouldn't really know where the black box ends, but these make it very, very clear, so you can actually see where they end. Um, that's the first feature. Second feature here, so if you see, I go up here and I try to place a pyramid on top of myself, on other box my maps, what happens is uh, it's just a box and there's nothing on top, so you can waste maps by accidentally placing pyramids. I don't know why my dog's barking so much, but um, you place pyramids up there and it wastes a lot of maps. So what I've done instead is I've put pyramids on there already so that that can't be placed down and you don't waste any maps. So yeah, you basically have all the maps possible inside of this map. Alright, so on top of that stuff as well, that's just aesthetically pleasing to be honest. Um, but the actual clever parts of the map are the bits that allow you to spawn in every time so what i'm going to do here is if i press respawn it might take a second by the way if you're running one in space martyrs i'm on an alt account whilst my uh, main account's are under maintenance uh but we're just going to wait here for a sec and you're going to see maybe i'll spawn on the outside maybe i'll spawn on the inside okay so i spawn on the inside and you can see those rifts right there what they do is basically if you spawn on the outside there's rifts for team one and rifts for team two you don't need to worry about which one to go to because i've mixed them all together you can just take any rift and it'll put you inside the rift and get you back into the correct side of your box there. Uh, so if I'm in team one and I take a team one rift, I'll spawn over here. And if I'm in team two and I take a team two rift, I'll spawn over here. So it's not going to be any cheating and it's like you're just starting to spawn again. When it goes down to the actual sizing of the map, so what I've got here is if I place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, great. So we've got seven across and then we've got one two three four five what i like about this compared to other box time maps is when you go forward like that you can see when the barrier is going to be stopping you here so when i start the game there's a barrier here uh and it normally allows you to build through like that and you're allowed to go basically two layers in now what this allows you to do is because your opponent will also go two layers in there's going to be this this floor in the middle where um it's basically a fight whoever gets this and this is the kind of zone which the two teams are going to contest for to make it equal to each other and whoever gets here first will probably have a huge advantage over their opponent so yeah if you want to play tactically and just think about that as well that could really help you out in this box fight map 
Moving on to the final main feature. This is the feature that I actually like and prefer the most. Um, so recently in a lot of box line maps, people were just doing uh, blue AR and a purple pump with the two minis and a fish. The fish and the two minis are actually all right. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no problem with that. But the thing about the uh, scar is when you hit someone in a body shot with a pump like that, um, it does 100 damage to them. And then if you hit them with a blue AR three times, it would do 99 damage. So leave your opponents on exactly one HP, which I don't know. After a while, it just gets really annoying. So what I've done instead is I've put in a scar. It doesn't make a difference to many gunfights, except from the fact that it just takes one less shot to kill your opponents. So you have to be a lot more critical when you're shooting. And yeah, you just have to make sure you hit your shots this time. So um, you can hit all the shots and kill your opponents pretty much a bit faster and just save yourself the stress of getting opponents at 1 HP and having to explain yourself to your teammates saying, I've got him exactly 1 HP. I know a lot of you are actually not going to be subscribers who are watching this video as well. So I'm just going to try and keep it as short and sweet as possible because I know if I'm looking on YouTube for something I want to see or know what kind of map code to use, I want the video to be as short as possible. So I'm not going to drag it on anymore. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the end of the video. Once again, the code's in the top of the screen right now and you saw it at the start, so you can screenshot that. It's also going to be in my pinned comment if you just want to go copy and paste my pinned comment and put it in one of your islands. But yeah, I, did, I hope you, enjoy, you enjoyed this video and I hope you do go on to enjoy this map. Once again, if you find any glitches, please tell me straight away in the comments so I can fix it or try to fix it as soon as possible. And if you guys are new on here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, turn those post notifications on for that competitive advantage over your opponents. I hope to see you all in the next video and thank you so much for watching.